So if your glass came out, came off the track, maybe it's broken, now you know how to change it or fix it. My mom went to get gas today and got to the station, rolled down the window, and the window got cockeyed in there. So instead of jamming it and messing it up, she pulled on the glass to try to get it to go up and it just pulled out. So I'm going to show you how to reinstall a piece of glass, or maybe yours is loose or off the track, and I'll show you how to fix that. Let's do it! First thing we need to do is take the panel off the door. I'm going to remove this tab and this piece here. I don't have trim removal tools, so I'm just going to get under here and be as careful as I can not to break anything. Pop that off. I'm just prying from the bottom, and that pops straight out. Next, there's a trim piece here at the door handle. Just going to stick the screwdriver in here and gently pry that out. And there we go. That exposes another Phillips screw. There is a screw holding the door handle underneath this piece. With that screw taken out, we can lift this out. With that lifted out, we need to remove that screw that holds the door panel on. Well, it's hard getting this plug out, and I don't want to break anything, so there's just three screws holding this in. I'm going to take that out, then I can push that right through there. And one other plug. See if this one's a little easier to negotiate, and it is. So I can set this aside, and I'm going to set this right down in here. So I can pull the panel off. There are a couple screws at the bottom of the panel. On the back of this panel, there's a cable that goes to the door handle and the door lock. We need to disconnect those. White's on the top, you just pull this straight out. There's a little groove there. You open that up and that little BB just holds it in that pocket. Do the same thing with this one and our door panel's released. And we need to pull the speaker out. It's just a little clip that holds this wire in. Just push that little clip in and lift up. There we go. And we're out. All right, with the panel off, everything exposed, I wanted to show you on the glass. You can see there's a place where they had glued here and there. And then over on the panel, we've got that clamp there that's connected to the track. And then there's a clamp on the front side where we removed the speaker. Now it's possible in your car that that bolt came loose and came out and the whole window is loose with the clamp on it. Which would be a better case scenario because all you have to do is bolt it back in. In this case, I'm going to have to glue it or silicone it back in. And I think I'm going to go ahead and drop some 100% silicone in there. It's just, you can get it at any hardware store, but the key is the 100% silicone. You don't want to get a mix. 
I'm sure the auto parts store sells some glue that you can use on that, but I'm going to go this route and it'll stay flexible because there is some movement in that and I think this will work best. Now I thought about cleaning the old glue off first so it's right up against the glass, but I'm thinking that this silicone will adhere to that old glue as well as it would the glass, so I'm going to do it that way. If you're concerned about that, you could take a razor blade and clean that up. I'm going to put some silicone in the track where it goes in. Just put a bead along here and that will get pushed in when the glass goes in. And I'm also going to put just a real light coating on each side of the glass. And now I'm going to drop the glass in and I'm going to do it from the inside and you just tilt the glass like that and then get the window all the way in and then bring it back up and get the back side in and then just pull up on the front side and that'll put it right in the track for you. So I'm in the track now, perfectly. And I'm pulling up on this side. I'm going to keep it flat against this side over here. And I'll go down. And I'm going to grab the glass from down low. Actually, I'm going to go up on the front side here. And one of the reasons I left the old glue in there is because I can line that up perfectly now. Because this track moves. So I'm coming down, I need to move forward. Get that to line up perfect, because I can see every groove. And I got to get the front and back lined up. But if one's lined up, then the other one is. That looks good. Good. Now I'm going to press from the top. And you can see that caulk is oozing out, which is good. Pushing for the front. And get the back down in there. Good. Beautiful. Do the same thing on the front. Now this excess caulk, I'm going to bring it up and just tie it in there. Same thing on the other side. That's going to help hold it also. I don't think she's going anywhere. And this is all stays below your window level, so none of this shows. Do the same thing on the front one. Beautiful. She ain't going nowhere. Make sure it's all the way down. Good. And good. Now my mom lives in an apartment complex. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the window up and let it set up. She doesn't need to have the window down. She's got air conditioning. Let it set up that way. 24 to 48 hours. She can start using that again. The other thing you want to check while you have this open is your track. If it's dry, you want to put some lithium grease in there, some white lithium grease. This one is not dry at all. I think just from sitting out in the sun over time, that glue dried out. And as they're operating the window, which this one's the one that gets operated all the time, it's a 2006. So it just dries out and eventually broke off. Now I'm going to slowly raise the window. That's why I like to leave this attached also. And I can make sure nothing moves, everything stays where it needs to be. It looks good. It's 
still looks great. I've got it up. That window's not going to move for 48 hours, probably. Now we'll put it back together, clean the window. So if you've got glass that came off the track, broken glass that you need to replace, or it just came unglued, or the clamps, the bolts came out for the clamps, you'll know how to fix it. If this video was a help to you, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. And I look forward to helping you with other projects online.